Hi, uh, my name is Sham. Hi, my name is Sham. Hi, my name is Sham. I'm 22 and I'm from Bristol. My name is John and I'm 25 and I live in Bristol. Hello, I am Yero. I'm 23 years old and I grew up in lovely Bristol. In 2010, I came here for university and once I graduated, I decided to stay here because I think that Bristol is exciting and it's got a lot going for it and it's definitely on the rise in terms of innovation and just generally things that are meant to disrupt the city and the people who live here. One example of Bristol's great spirit is the slide that went down a really prominent street in the city called Park Street. It was a really really fun day where thousands and thousands of people came together to slide down a hill which might sound weird and wacky but that is just Bristol. One of the things I really love about Bristol is that the community is just combined and become a melting pot. Everyone is unique and an individual and the city acknowledges that and loves it and learns to love and integrate with each other. Bristol is fearless. As a city we recognise that to grow and expand you have to make mistakes and Bristol isn't afraid of that. Bristol takes great pride in putting young people at the forefront and stuff and it is a very big risk but at the same time it's worked out very well. Young people are representatives, they're pioneers, they're leaders of tomorrow's society. Bristol is unique to me because it is a place where lots of people collaborate with each other and there's not really a hierarchy of importance. Everyone is equally as creative and amazing as each other. Bristol is very great at nurturing homegrown talent so we have a lot of people that have come from Bristol, moved to other cities or a lot of people that come and stay and have become something, have done great things, have made change all over the world and Bristol is great at acknowledging that and just not throwing people away and not giving up on people. They like to work with people and make sure the dreams are achieved, goals are achieved and you know just like to give a helping hand where it's necessary. Here in Bristol we are all about triggering people through events that bring communities together to make sure that everything we do as a city isn't just for one set of people, it's for everybody. I studied in London and absolutely loved it. It gave me the chance to understand understand Bristol's support mechanisms. Bristol does not have the opportunities that London has in terms of the scape, but it does have the support. It has the really great organisations like, for example, Watershed that are willing to nurture new talent, look after them, mentor them and get them ready to work in the creative industries, whether it is through music, it's through writing, making films. And I think that is a really integral part of Bristol looking after its talent of the future. Bristol City Council funded Watershed to set up a new programme to empower young voices in the city. This is called Rife Magazine and all three of us have been a part of it. Rife Magazine is all about offering opportunities to young people in Bristol as well as connecting with hard to reach communities around the city. These have included working with the young LGBT plus groups, young people who aren't in education or employment or underrepresented groups in society. Rife Magazine's internship focuses on training us to professional standards but also offers free skill sharing opportunities for people aged under 24 through masterclasses with various creative industry leaders. Not only have we been paid a proper salary without this internship, we've also been supported since leaving the programme and have all found work because of the skills we've developed here. In the future, I see Bristol as decentralising, so it means we have lots of different centres all around the city, which means that people can congregate around these places as well as travelling to others to experience the various different places within Bristol. Bristol's energy is always rising and I think in about 10 years time I see Bristol as being even more of a cultural hub than it already is. I think the amount of really creative minds that we have, whether they are academic or come from like an artist background, I really see them working together to put Bristol on the map as this forward-thinking city. In 10 years time, I see Bristol doing still what it does best. Always pushing, always nurturing, always loving, always daring and just keep doing things that other cities are too afraid to do.